Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a screenshot of your emulator or your physical device using Android Studio. First thing is, make sure that your emulator is running or you have your physical devices connected to your computer. So to take a screenshot, all you have to do is open up your Android Studio and then click on the lock cat. And the moment you hover your mouse over this menu on the side, then you have another set of menu icons and one of them is this camera icon. So this camera icon is the one that allows you to take a screenshot. So you click on that and this is the current screenshot that is showing in the emulator. So let me show you a, let me show you a different kind of uh, screenshot. So the moment I drag this from the top and I click on the recapture to refresh the, the, the image. And it looks something like this. And then we have this rotate left and rotate right. That's where you're going to rotate the, the screenshots. Copy to clipboard, that's where you're going to copy the, the image to somewhere else. And you have this frame screenshot. So when you click on the frame screenshot, then you have this set of uh, options whereby you can choose different types of frames that you can use for the for the screenshot. By default, it uses the generic phone, and this is how it's going to look like. So let me just zoom out. This is how it's going to look like in the generic phone. If you click on the menu option, then you have a different set of uh, frames that you can choose from, starting with the Pixel 2. And it's going to look like this. This is inside a pixel tool. Choose the one that you like from this set of options. And then we have the drop shadow. So you click on the drop shadow. And you can see there's a bit of shadow at the bottom of the, of the frame. Okay. Another thing that, another really cool thing that I want to show you, share with you is, you can see that, okay, let me just hide this and let me recapture this again. I want to show to I want to show you something. So on the top here in the status bar, you can see that we have the uh, the settings icon, and you have the the Wi-Fi, the signal, and your battery. So when you take a screenshot, it is best if you do it if you do it like a professional way. I mean, like you have a really clean clean status bar. And to do that, you don't have to go to your device and clear your notifications manually. There is a cool feature that is added inside the developer option that's allow you to do that. So let me show you how you can do it. So open up the emulator or your physical device and then go to your device screen. I'm going to do that right now. So click on the settings, go to your device, click on the settings, scroll all the way down, choose system. Then you go to advanced and then click on the developer options and you scroll down a bit and you can see this menu option that says system UI demo mode. So click on that, turn this on and here you have a clean status bar. So here is the old one, old screenshot and this is the current one, the one that you can see in the emulator. So you can see the difference, right? In the emulator, it looks much cleaner, more professional. And you can actually use this in, uh, for your promotion, for the app promotion, or even you can upload this in your Play Store listing. Let me just recapture this so you guys can actually see it. And you can see there is this clean status bar. So once you're satisfied with this, uh, with this customization, then just click on the save. It will ask you where you want to save this picture choose the location in your computer and then click on save. All right, so after saving, this is how it's, this is how it's going to look like. It looks really nice, more professional looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.